Okay, so uh, during new products each week, we'll remind everyone that uh, we are currently shipping essential orders. You can do that on your own on the site. You can check out and say uh, what you need. Um, however, if there's special needs, email COVID-19 at Adafruit.com. We are manufacturing and we are shipping essential goods right now. That's right. Um, you can buy Adafruit gift certificate, Adafruit.com slash gift certificates. That helps us quite a bit. Um, you can get Adafruit IO plus accounts. You can sign up for Adabox. We have under 50 slots left, but you should do it now because we're working with our partners to get those out while we're doing other things. And on to new we products. We do have some new products. We have some coming soon. And actually, some of these are going to be in very shortly. Maybe We've tomorrow. got fever scanners. Yeah, these are cool. So um, this is a thermal camera. It's actually a really nice quality thermal camera with like a 120 by 160 thermal array and a color display built in and like a user interface. So you can do all sorts of cool stuff like set alerts and take images and save them to the SD card. Um, we have two versions. One version um, is just standalone, and you can see the demo here. These are tuned specifically for fever scanning, and they're used in Asia for fever scanning. Um, and they're not too expensive either. Uh, they're a couple hundred bucks. Um, and um, they're tuned and calibrated to measure human temperature ranges. So off-the-shelf thermal cameras, like you get ones from you know, a hardware store or whatever, that are meant for um, like measuring pipes or looking at you know like a power supply. Those have a very wide range, but they're not as accurate and precise as these, which are yeah. like one degree accuracy. And let me tell you how we're using these at Adafruit. Yeah. So we have team members that are coming in. Now they're separate. You know they're not all crowded in the elevator. They're not all waiting in line. You know it's only one person at a time. However, one day we will be returning to some some version of work. And we'll probably have people coming in. And what we want to do is, uh, this is mountable and it goes into a laptop. Yeah. What we want to do is be able to say, okay, five people just walked in. One of them, it set off the, hey, you might want to come over and do secondary screening. Yeah. And um, you'd use like a temperature guy. Yeah. That is then, you, then you use a no contact uh, one. And we're going to be doing temperature stuff anyway. So then you walk over, it's like, oh, that said 99, but you know, actually it was 97.8. But these are very accurate. If you look at how China has flattened the curves, they say these are in restaurants, they're in buildings, they're absolutely in everywhere. In malls, yeah. Yeah, and it's not that they're gonna, it's not gonna catch things, it's not. The whole point is you see it, it's another layer, and everyone starts thinking about their temperature. Everyone's taking their temperature now. If you're not feeling so good, take your temperature. Uh, if you're reporting to work, take your temperature. Today, Walmart announced that all their team members are getting PPE and they're taking their temperature when they get in yeah so this is happening and you know if walmart's on this like you know like it's hard to steer that ship that that big ship um we've been doing this from the start have we had people in so this is just one thing and we're going to make these available to the people that need them well we already carry a bunch of thermal cameras so i just thought this was really neat because this is um yeah. again tuned specifically for humans and we'll have a special video from our friend naomi in china who talks about this and that'll be out very soon and we'll make sure everyone sees that okay so right. two versions. One version uh, is a standalone. Well, they both work standalone, just like you see here. They have a battery built in. You can recharge it. And one of them is a little bit more expensive and has USB video output. So you can then pipe it to, like, um, you know, a larger laptop screen. So Because the screen is it's 2.8 inches. It's pretty small. If you want to have it, you know, on a larger screen, you could pipe it into a computer and it shows up as a video camera. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. sign up. Coming soon. Next up, uh, we have engineering, manufacturing, R&D, and logistics services. One of the reasons that we had to do this was um, Lady Ada is working on some projects, and they want to reserve her time. Yeah. Um, we've donated a lot of time, but at some point, it's like, okay, what what can we do? So it's like, oh, here is a certificate of you know 10 hours of Lady Ada. Get 10 hours of Lady Ada. Or someone will want to pay us for logistics services. Or someone will want to pay us for R&D. Or someone will say, okay, like this has been fantastic. Uh, you've helped me work through a design. This is now going to uh, prototypes. Can you do a circuit board review? We have budget. We have a, a grant to take care of this. How can we pay you Adafruit to do this? Because that they, 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 if you do it for free, it doesn't really count. Don't they, worry. They're getting paid. <laughs> yeah. It, no, they have to You know, yeah. say, like, okay, we, this is the person that we had review it. Yeah. And, we, and it's a service. So um, we have that available on our website now. Uh, you can check that out. And that's mostly for people who have already contacted us, but we had to have an easy way for, like, the government credit card. We're like, okay, just use this. Yeah. Um, next up, we have the uh, face shields. That we've been making. So these are not for, you know, individuals to purchase quite yet. 
Um, but we had to have uh, some inventory system in the store, and so we decided to make it live so that we could, because um, we had some uh, medical folks ask yeah. us, well, what, what does it look like? Can you give me specs? And I'm like, well, I'll just make a product page. Yeah, and, um, you know, one of the things that we wanted to do is, so the doctors who got these, um, we had sent off samples to Mount Sinai, and we got um, results today, and they said, these are fantastic. They last getting dipped in bleach. Um, we made these as low cost as possible. So these that you see around, it's up to like $11 plus. Uh, we're making ours for two bucks each, so it's basically just covering the materials. And so the, the thing that you do is wear it, you know, in addition to having a mask, because there's a lot of splash and a lot of things, and it's just another layer of protection. There, of course, be all these other PPE things, but this is just yeah, to show you. On the show. Okay. So hopefully, if all things work out, we will have a literal ton of this plastic, which is now getting uh, uh, bought out on planet Earth, and we'll be able to resume our manufacturing on these. We're working with the hospitals and the New York City government, and then we hope um, as New York's curve goes down, we'll be able to help supply these to other areas of the country. Also, a lot of people are able to make these, so I think I think we've got a shot at this. Okay. okay. Next up, uh, pulse oximeter. Again, this is something that um, I actually plan to carry anyways because we've been doing Bluetooth pulse oximetry projects and you'll see uh, those get published soon. Um, but we decided uh, while we're at it, why, why not also stock a non-Bluetooth version? This is coming soon. It's just a plain pulse oximeter. Um, for electronics people, first off, you might be able to hack into these and you know, extract signal, but it's also good if you are using um, you know, a max and pulse oximity chip and you want to calibrate it against a known good uh, pulse oximeter. So this, uh, you, know, you can use this as a, a low cost way to check your calculations or calibration for um, you know, a biosensing circuit. We have um, you know, the muscle sensors, EKG sensors, um, pulse sensors. So use this as a, as a known reference. It's a low cost, you know, two AAA batteries, fits on your finger and tells you your blood oxygen and uh, pulse rate. Yeah, we check ours every day. That's right. Yeah, we make sure that we're... Do biohacking. Yeah, I bought this back a few years ago when I was super fit and I wanted to, you know, totally biohack and like figure out how, how I can optimize myself. And then I put all that stuff away and got unhealthy. Uh, but now I'm trying to get healthy again. <laughs> so... Uh, okay. Okay, and that was new products. Right, ready? Yep. New. New, 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 new recap. Recap. Okay. Support Adafruit gift certificates. And you can also support us with IO and Adabox. We've got some uh, incoming fever scanners. Uh, these uh, 120 by 160 uh, calibrated thermal cameras specifically designed and calibrated to measure accurate human body temperature. Um, so you can use it for quick fever scanning. We have two versions, one with USB-C video out and one that's standalone. They're both standalone, but one also has video output. We have engineering, manufacturing, R&D and logistics services, uh, gift certificates slash coupons. Um, if you've contacted us and you want to uh, hire us to um, or pay for our services or, or logistics, uh, pick one of these up. We have a product page now for the DIY um, uh, face shields that we've been manufacturing for New York City hospitals. Uh, this is so uh, this is not available for people to purchase individually yet, um, but it's uh, a reference page. So uh, when we talk uh, to um, doctors and nurses and we want to show them what we made. Uh, eyes are a threat vector. Yeah, safe. Very safe. Can't, can't throw stuff at you. Um, we now have a product page with photos and videos and specs to okay. reference them. And also coming soon, a pulse oximeter. Uh, I really like this model. We've been using uh, this uh, company's pulse oximeters for our Bluetooth BLE projects. Uh, we'll be stocking a BLE one, but this one does not have BLE. So uh, this could be useful for biohacking or calibrating uh, your biosensing projects. That's new, new, new.